I want to show you a neat tool today that I just found out about. So I've been a Quicken user for almost 20 years now. I had no idea that these two tools existed. So this is kind of exciting and I hope you find these useful. So I'm going to tell you about the Quicken Home Inventory Tool and Emergency Records Organizer Tool. These are tools that have been included in Quicken for years, but you had to install them manually to get them to work. So today I'm going to show you how to install those. So let's go over here. All right, so the first thing you'll want to do is open up a Windows Explorer window and then go to your C drive, go to Program Files, and then go down to Quicken. And then you'll want to look for, in this folder, Emergency Records Organizer and Quicken Home Inventory. So you'll double click on each of those, click Yes, click Yes again, and then click OK. So we just installed Emergency Records Organizer. Now let's do the same for Quicken Home Inventory. Click Yes. Click Yes again. And that's it. So they're now installed. So let's open up Quicken and go ahead and show you how to use those. So just type in your password if you have one. In order to use these two tools, you need to change it to the old classic menu view to access the the home inventory tool. So click on view and then click classic menus. And that just gave you a whole different menu system from the new update in 2017. So then to access these tools you'll click on property and debt and here they are home inventory manager and emergency records organizer. So let's take a look at the home inventory manager first. And you may get a little pop-up the first time you open this. So this is your home inventory manager and this allows you to add all of the items in your house so that you have something in there, a record of these things in case you ever need to file an insurance claim. And so it's pretty simple. There's a drop down here that lets you select each room in your house and then you just add the items, choose a category for those items, and then you put the cost. And it gives you a few pre-selected items for each category over here on the right that you can just add so it makes it a lot faster. So let's say I want to add some things to the family Family room. I can choose the category that makes the most sense here, probably furnishings. And then I have this list. I can just quickly start adding things that are in the living room. And you can always change the value over here from the default value. Let's say I have a china cabinet also. And what else would be in the living room? Uh, let's say I have a futon. So there we go. I just added three things in my living room. And then you can manually type in anything you, else you would like to add. Let's say a sofa. Okay, let me tell you uh, something I've discovered. You do not want to hit the tab key in this program or it will crash. Okay, let's put our sofa in here and we'll say that it costs oh, $600 with a resale value of $300. Sure. So there we go. Click a new line and you can enter something else. It's a pretty simple program. It's an easy way to keep track of your inventory. And then you can view reports here that show you all of your stuff in one place. And it even has a report there for the insurance. So you can quickly print that out and give it to your insurance agent if you ever need to file a claim. That's that. I'll let you play with that to discover more features and learn how to use it. We'll just save the that. Okay, now let's go try the emergency records organizer. Now this is a neat tool for keeping all of your emergency contacts and emergency information in one spot. So if you're a little disorganized like me, you probably have a lot of these things bookmarked on your web browser. You might have some paperwork filed away in a filing cabinet somewhere. You might have stuff piled up on your desk. Some of this might be written on the refrigerator or on a whiteboard somewhere. So this tool lets you put it all in one place. So so you have adults emergency contact information. These are the different categories here. So under adults, you can put different contacts, physicians, medical history, hospital info for each adult in the house. You can do the same thing for each child in the house. Who to contact, their doctors, medical history, etc. You can put adults and children's important information. School, caretaker, schedules, personal and legal documents, will, 
funeral, power of attorney, birth certificate, information about the income in the home. So just all the different things that you would need to have quick access to in an emergency or that you might want someone else in your household to have access to in case you can't be reached or if something happens to you, you can put that all in one spot here. Even the different properties that you own, safe deposit box, post office box, safe, alarm, storage, all kinds of information here. So once you put that in, you can also view a report on it. You can export that to a file or print it out, give it to the people that would need to have it in case something happened with you. And there's an emergency report, a caretaker report, and a survivor's report. So there are different levels of reports that you would give to different people. For example, you wouldn't be giving your financial information to the caretaker, for example but they would have the information about maybe the alarm system or about your emergency contact information in case they need to get a hold of you. That's a neat tool. You can play with that now that you know how to use it. So I'll be playing with that some more and starting to use it and we'll see how it works. Just one more thing that's in Quicken that you may not have known about before today. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and maybe learned something today. Um, I hope you have a great day. If you find this information useful, please leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching.